Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Well, guys, thank you so very much. I was told that we're going to talk about weather preparedness. If you'll start for me, Bill. Uh, sure. Uh, we're coming up on hurricane season, and, of course, it is severe weather season back where you are in Dallas. Uh, the most important thing we have uh, uh, want people to do is have a plan, know what they're going to do in the event of severe weather. Uh, uh, the, have the supplies you need on hand. Uh, in case your power goes out, have uh, food, water, uh, and ways to maybe patch up some things when you have the big hailstorms like you have up there. Is there a site that I'm going to send them to later on that they can get like a list of what they need to have prepared? Because I've been talking to people and they're pretty. Some are some are preppers and some just don't have a clue. Right. Uh, I recommend. Uh, uh, the website of flash.org, F-L-A-S-H dot O-R-G, uh, for all kinds of uh, severe weather preparedness and things you can do to make sure your home is, is fortified to withstand the uh, events of weather. Okay. Ed, what can you add to that conversation about being prepared for severe weather, especially here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? Sure. Well, following up on what Mr. Reed just said, is that to prepare your house, I think the ultimate is to install a standby generator. Now, a standby generator is not like a portable generator that you see with the wheels and you take it from place to place. A standby generator is permanently installed to your home's electrical uh, system, and it runs on natural gas and propane, so you don't have to worry about filling it with gasoline constantly. And then also, it comes on automatically. So basically, if you want to do the ultimate to protect your home, a standby generator is going to give you, your family, and even your neighborhood the best protection. And if you're not familiar what they look like, just visit KohlerGenerators.com and you can check things out there. All right. Okay. Let's go back to Bill. Bill, why is it so important to be prepared? Well, it well, that, that doesn't make sense question, but it is an important question. It is, and, and surveys show that the far less than half the people at, uh, in the country have done anything at all relative to weather preparedness. So uh, it is an important message. The importance of it is uh, if you haven't made a plan, you don't have any real idea what you're going to do when a storm hits. When the storm hits, it's too late. You're, you're making... Uh, reactions rather than acting on your plan. So that's why we encourage people to, to think about what they would do for themselves and their family in the event of, of a tornado, say in your case, or a flood uh, in, in that area well in advance of a storm actually happening. Therefore, you'll act on that plan when the storm occurs. Okay. And especially, uh, Ed, you talked about this generator, and you said about a stationary generator. Why isn't a... Um uh, a movable generator a good idea, especially if it's flooding. Oh, a movable generator will help you out in a pinch uh, to run pumps, uh, to use them for camping. Uh, also, if you want to do some tailgating and have fun with the, uh, the portable generators, they're a very good piece of equipment. But for the ultimate protection, a standby generator is a system installed in your home. And nothing beats a system that's on God 24 hours a day. So even if you're not home, the generator will keep your house up and running and your critical systems going. The standby generators, uh, once you, you check them out and see what's uh, involved with them, you'll understand that it is just the best protection around because basically it's your own little power plant in your backyard. I love that. I want to thank you guys. Bill Reed is the former director of the National Hurricane Center and Ed, Ed 
Del Grande is a national syndicated home improvement columnist, author, and TV host. Guys, thank you so very much. Bill, would you give me those websites again where we'd like for people to go and gather their information and be prepared? Sure. Uh, flash.org, F-L-A-S-H dot O-R-G. All right. Thank you so very much, guys. Thank you for being my guest and talking about a very important subject on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you, Valder.